Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're at Cobra headquarters today in Carlsbad, California, talking with Jose Miraflor. We're talking new F8 product from Cobra. Right now, we're specifically going to talk about the new F8 irons, and I know you guys are really excited about this. A ton of technology in here to help players play better iron shots. Yeah, the F8 irons is created for the game improvement type of golfer. Anywhere from a 5 to 25 handicapper could really be benefit from this type of set design. You know, one of the trends, no matter what type of handicap you are, even on tour, is to have a progressive set. You have tour players that are not only using maybe muscle back irons for their primary set, but going to cavity backs or hollow irons when they get to the longer clubs and specialty wedges in their short irons. And that shouldn't just be just for them. We at Cobra Golf thought about this and we've been creating for you guys the, the one of the few progressive sets in the marketplace that feature tech flow technology, which means technology or different constructions throughout the set. So in this F8, you have here a long iron which is a hollow iron that features a face that is welded on. So that's going to be from your four iron all the way down to your seven iron, a technology that gives you a faster face design, a hollow construction to make it super forgiving, to give you the launch and forgiveness and distance that you're looking for when you're hitting these long and mid irons. When you go to your scoring irons, your, your, your eight, nine and pitching wedges, we feature a cavity back design, which allows the engineers to create a heel and toe weighting to make it super forgiving. So when you hit it off center, you're still going to get the directional and the distance that you're looking for because you're trying to hit it close to the pin at that point. And then finally, to the specialty wedges, your gap, your sand, and your lob wedge, we're creating a muscle back shape or, or a specialty wedge shape here that helps you control your trajectories, but also with a, a sole that features some camber, some curvature, some grinds on the heel and toe that give you a lot of versatility. And in addition to the construction approach being progressive, there's also a progressive groove pattern through the set to help optimize performance. Absolutely, Chris, and thanks for that. Yeah, when we, we've done a lot of testing, so it makes sense to you that your wedges need to spin the most, right? You're going to hit some partial shots, half shots, and full shots, and you want to control the trajectory and spin. We put our biggest, widest groove that are closely spaced in the wedges. As you move to the, the, to the scoring irons, your short irons, we also feature that same groove, but just not so closely spaced because you're trying not to spin it too hard because you don't want balls backing up on the greens. When you get to the long irons and mid irons, we feature a V groove, and that's probably counterintuitive to some of you saying, why a V groove that spins a little bit less? And that's true. Because here's what we're trying to do. We're trying to control the amount of distance that you hit these. And when you have a, a big groove in there, sometimes you catch it perfect, and it spins, and it flies really short. Sometimes you don't catch it perfect, and then sometimes and it flies too far. Well, when putting a V groove in, we're able to reduce the amount of variance from front to back and make it more consistent distance. One of the areas in which these irons really excel is in terms of distance, and a lot of that comes from the power shell face. The power shell face, which appears in the four iron through the seven iron, is actually a forged face that we forge into an L. So it, it actually wraps around the sole to deliver uh, more return, more flexion, more speed. Now you mentioned, and this is certainly a game improvement iron, but I think there's a couple things worth mentioning. One, some carbon has been utilized in the design to give these irons sort of a, you know, maybe a better feel than a typical game improvement iron might offer. Absolutely. We're calling it carbon feel technology, but if you look at all these irons, even, th even the wedges have an aura of carbon here. We're actually using real deal carbon fiber. Um, we're putting it on the hollow irons on the back of the head to damp the vibrations that are going on with that high speed face. On the cavity back irons, there's actually a carbon fiber piece that's on the face and then a carbon fiber piece that's sandwiched between the face and the back of the head inside that cavity that helps really damp those vibrations. And then in the wedge, we're able to use a carbon fiber insert that's actually been pushed into the head because it's carved into there a little bit that helps us move the weight heel toe and up into the longer hosel, but also damp the vibrations that come from a very centered or even toe side hit. And the other thing, you know, as a, again, as a game improvement iron, I think you guys deserve a lot of credit because what you can see is you can see the thicker sole, the little bit of offset, you know, the thicker top line, which all says game improvement. But at address, 
a lot of that mass is hidden beautifully, and these really have a sort of a classic shape that might appeal to some lower handicappers. Yeah, and it comes from an R&D that plays a lot of golf. So we have 36 people in R&D. Half of them are 10 handicaps and below. The designers all play golf. So they understand the aspects of when a, a golfer wants to look at a club, they may want the ultimate in forgiveness, but that, that doesn't mean they want something that's big and clunky to look at. So they do their job of tucking away here and there. So you, on your long irons, you'll notice a wider sole looking down at it, but when you put it at a dress, it looks really nice. There's not too much offset either. There's a nice progressive offset that we have um, that, that helps the ball fly higher because of dynamic lofting, but doesn't look like a big goose neck down there when you're addressing mm. it. And not surprisingly, given the success you guys have had over the course of the last year, the F8's also being offered in a one-length version. Absolutely. This last year in 2017 with the F7 and F7 one irons, we had a huge success in iron growth led by the one lengths, which are 55% of our sales uh, in iron sales, but also by the standard iron. So they're both being looked at by golfers since we are probably the only OEM, larger OEM that has one length. A large bunch of you guys came in and looked at one length with us and we're going to continue to support you um, by giving you even more technologies, more ways to hit the ball longer, straighter, more consistently in our one length irons. Jose, thanks. We appreciate it. Thanks, Chris.